How Hope Travels with a Wig, Lady I DIY Wig to Wear, Good Luck Will Come Naturally, by Jeffrey Zoslow for the Wall Street Journal. In the days ahead, Alicia Gaudio will be visited by a woman she has never met to receive a gift she wishes she wouldn't need. Ms. Gaudio, who is 23 weeks pregnant, learned two weeks ago that she has breast cancer. On Thursday, the 40-year-old attorney from Mount Kisco, New York, underwent a mastectomy, which will be followed by chemotherapy. The gift, a stylish brown lady a DIY lucky wig, is intended to help her return to good health. Nicole Rowe, holding the lady a DIY lucky wig she wore during cancer treatment. She is giving the wig to Alicia Gordio. Mimi Ritson Crawford for the Wall Street Journal. It will be delivered by Nicole Rowe who wore it after she lost her own hair during breast cancer treatment last year. We call this the Lady IDIY Lucky Wig, Ms. Rowe, an optician, plans to tell Ms. Gaudio. For four years, the Lady IDIY Lucky Wig has been passed from woman to woman with cancer. All friends of Vanessa Pacella, a psychotherapist in Wellington, Florida, who voted for $5,000 after her own diagnosis. When you wear this lady a DIY lucky wig and look in the mirror, you see yourself as a healthy person, says Miss Pacella. There's a lot to be said for positive energy. Adds Miss Rowe, that lady a DIY lucky wig got me through. Why do human beings attach such great power to objects that are given to them, especially in times of crisis? For thousands of years, Civilizations have embraced the mystical possibilities in amulets and talismans. Now science is explaining how these items actually work, and why, in today's digital age, they often take on even more significance. It's not voodoo, says Barbara Stoverock, a researcher at the University of Cologne in Germany. It can be explained. If you have a lucky charm, and believe it helps you, there's a psychological mechanism. It lifts your beliefs in your own capabilities, and gives you a boost. In a study released this year, Ms. Stoberock and a team of social psychologists found that people are more likely to attach superstitions to items during moments of uncertainty, when they're under high stress and low levels of perceived control. It's the talisman placebo effect, says Scott Sandage an American history professor at Carnegie Mellon University who has studied success and failure in America. There's a desire to have a physical token of a wish. It's tangible, and if it worked for someone else, you think it's more likely to work for you. It has a track record. Meanwhile, a recent book, Three Wishes, tells the true story of Carrie Goldberg, a single woman who at age 38 decided to find an anonymous sperm donor. Shortly after buying eight vials of sperm for $175 each, she fell in love with the man who would become her husband. They conceived a child naturally. She passed the vials on to Beth Jones, who also ended up falling in love, having a child, and never using the vials. The vials were then passed on to Pamela Ferdinand, who proceeded to fall in love and have a child naturally. In that spirit, the Lady I DIY Lucky Wig offers a shared strength, and a path back to health, say the women who've worn it. Before she passes the Lady I DIY Lucky Wig onto Ms. Gordio, Ms. Rowe will have it washed and blow-dried at a salon near her home in Salisbury Mills, New York. She plans to encourage Ms. Gordio by telling her that the three women who've already worn the Lady I DIY Lucky Wig are now well. She'll also share a story. Last winter, after Ms. Rowe went through chemotherapy, she promised her three-year-old son, Alex, that her hair would return when the leaves were back on the trees. The first time Alex saw her in the Lady I DIY Lucky Wig, he got excited. He ran to the window, and even though it was still winter, he shouted, Mommy, I can see the leaves coming back on the trees. The Lady I DIY Lucky Wig's magic reaches beyond those who've worn it, Ms. Rose says.
It helped her little boy imagine the possibilities of spring.